Hi friends, are you someone who is looking for a career in life sciences and you're confused and worried which path to take as a career in life science as there are so many options when you take life sciences. I, Dr. Abhinaya, I'm here to help you out to understand better about two subjects. One is microbiology and the other one is biochemistry. So in today's video, I'll talk to you about the career scope after completing masters in microbiology and biochemistry and which one is better i'll give you a lot of information regarding both these fields and you can take a better choice which one will suit you so before we go into deep uh, which is a better career op option as a microbiology or as a biochem uh, biochemistry we will take a brief idea about these two fields in microbiology, you will be studying about small, tiny or microorganisms and the interaction of these organisms with animal health, human health and the environment. While in biochemistry, you will be applying the chemistry principles to the biological processes at molecular level as well as at cellular level. So, microbiology and biochemistry. Microbiology, it has involvement in many fields like medicine, pharmacy, dairy industry, clinical research, water industry, agriculture, chemical technology and nanotechnology. While biochemistry, it also has varied applications in industries like pharmacy, or it can be the diagnostic centers, biotech firms, hospitals, agricultural industries, drug manufacturing companies, forensic department, cosmetic industries and food institutes. So after doing the bachelors in either microbiology or biochemistry, you should decide which specialization you want to pursue when it comes to masters. So based on your preference and also which area, uh, which uh, which country or which place you want to do your specialization, you should choose wisely. When it comes to microbiology, you have the options of agricultural microbiology, industrial microbiology, evolutionary microbiology, nano microbiology, cellular microbiology, soil microbiology, veterinary, pharmaceutical, microbial genetics, environmental and water microbiology. When it comes to biochemistry, the options are neurochemistry, bioorganic chemistry, clinical microbiology, molecular genetics, physical biochemistry, immunochemistry, biochemical pharmacology, veterinary biochemistry and agricultural biochemistry. So based on the preference and, um, and in which you have enough interest, you should choose your specialization. Once the specialization is done, you should also determine which direction you want your career to proceed. You want your career to be in teaching, then the option is there in both microbiology as well as in biochemistry. While you want to pursue a career in research and development, then microbiology as well as biochemistry, they offer R&D in the field of medicine, agriculture and food. If you want to be in a private firm, in the side of marketing and sales team uh, and preferably in the life science product marketing then microbiology and biochemistry both of them they have options while it comes to quality analysis or being in the in charge of a quality control then pharma it prefers both microbiology and biochemistry while the food and beverage industry they prefer microbiology over the biochemists the pathology labs, they also prefer microbiologists over biochemists. So these are the top recruiting companies for microbiology. If you want to be in the pharma industry, then Sun Pharma, Dr. Reddy's, Johnson & Johnson, all these companies are there for microbiologists. And for biotech industries, Biocon and Novozymes are the primary ones. For laboratories, Sigma and Biocare Research, food industries like Amul, Heritage Foods, Cafe Coffee Day, McCain, Suguna Foods and Mars are there. And beverage industries like Coca-Cola, PepsiCo and Tata Tea, they also have a lot of options for the microbiologist. Chemical and agricultural industries like Pedilite, 
Tata Chemicals and DuPont, they also have lot of options in various parts of India as well as all over the world for microbiologists. These are the top recruiting companies for biochemists. Pharma industry have lot of options like Dr. Reddy's, Thermo Fisher Scientific, Sun Pharma and Merck. Biotech industries, Novozyme has lot of options for biochemists. Environmental and healthcare, Siemens has lot of options and Siemens has options all over the world. Laboratories like Sami Labs, they hire lot of biochemists. Agricultural and contract research organization also have lot of options. I have mentioned two of them, PI Industries and Sinji. And when it comes to research organizations, in India itself, there are a lot of research organizations which, uh, which give options as a career for microbiologist as well as biochemist. It can be affiliated with CSIR, ICAR, IIT, ICMR or DRDO. Based on which place or which part, like CSIR, which one you are applying for, whether they have a, an, a vacancy for microbiologist or biochemist, look into the qualification for it and then go for the application. Before you venture into the career and you kickstart your career, you should have few essential skills that will help you to stand out as a very good microbiologist or a biochemist. For microbiologists, the few essential skills are, you should know about biosafety procedures. You should also be well versed with gram stains and among various immunoassay techniques, ELISA is a must. You should also be very much hands on with preparation of bacterial smears and aseptic techniques also is something that you should be well versed with. Handling of different microorganisms, microscopy, that is something which you should be um, well, well uh, conversed with and you should be handling it in a very nice way. DNA extraction and also the separation of DNA through gel electrophoresis is an added advantage for a microbiologist. Cell culture and instrument calibration is also an essential skill for a microbiologist. For a biochemist, you should know the chemistry principle as well as the basic chemistry methods that are used. You should be well versed with it. Immunoassays, as much as possible, you should try to learn those skills. Among them, ELISA is a must for both microbiologist as well as the biochemist. Data analysis is also very crucial for a biochemist. Data analysis through Excel is also fine, but if possible, try to learn new techniques. Handling of various instruments like one of them is mass spectrometry. Mass spectrometry is something which is preferred by a lot of private industries and pharma industries. DNA extraction and gel electrophoresis method. DNA extraction and then the separation of those fragments that is done through gel electrophoresis. Protein purification is done through various methods and if possible, learn all those methods. Chromatography in different ways and instrument calibration is also a must for a biochemist. So after getting all the essential skills, once you apply for the job, you will still be a fresher. So I have given a, a list of uh, the salary that a fresher would get when you apply for the job. If you go as a microbiologist itself, then you will get approximately 35,000. And if you apply for an assistant professor in government or private industry, based on whether it's a government or a private university, you will get the salary between 48,000 to 1 lakh. For scientific writers, you can get 32,000 and for quality control, the range is from 21,000 to 65,000. For a copy editor, you will get approximately 32,000. And for a clinical research associate, you will get 30,000. This is the salary for a biochemist who is a fresher. If you go as a biochemist itself, you will get a salary of 30,000 approximately based on the company, which location it is, it is based on. And if you go as a research scientist in some government organization or, or some private organization, then it ranges from 45,000 to 1 lakh. If you're going into the pharma industry as a pharmacist, you will get the range from 19,000 to 63,000. If you go into the quality side, that is as a quality analyst or as a quality control, then you will get 30,000. 
if you go as a manager that is into more into the sales side or into the marketing side and then you want to pursue in that line itself the starting is 20 to 30000 if you want to try out as a medical coder as as a starting job or as, or as a fresher then you can get a salary of 27000 once you start as a fresher based on which direction you want your career to go ahead choose from among the various options you have choose among from them very wisely and then pursue in it and once you gain experience you will get a very lucrative salary in both microbiology field as well as in the biochemistry field so not only in india all over the world there are lot of options for microbiologist as well as biochemist these are some of the top countries which offer jobs for microbiologist the first one is netherlands followed by canada switzerland usa uk sweden germany and australia for biochemists the options are usa switzerland germany sweden france italy singapore uk japan and netherlands so after going through all these things which is better microorganisms they have been in this world for a very long time and so have been the chemistry principles like chemistry i guess we have been doing since we have been in like first second third fourth fifth standard and 11th and 12th also we would have done some lot of chemical reactions and that is a field that has been sustaining for a very long time so be it microbiology or biochemistry both these fields are evergreen field and they will never go like it's it's very old this field is very uh, it might go uh, after few years nothing like that will happen with either of the fields both these fields are evergreen fields and based on whether it's it's a teaching position or it's an r&d job or you want to go into a private industry you will have a flexible working option and lot of industries like pharma medicine and um, food and beverage industry they prefer microbiologist and biochemist it will never be a monotonous work as there are lot of techniques in microbiology as well as in biochemistry for example if you were if if you are someone who has done dna extraction and you have just extracted the fragments in gel electrophoresis then someone is coming and telling like okay let's go ahead with a different technique of gel electrophoresis so you will go and learn that technique you will learn that skill so your work will never be monotonous in microbiology as well as in biochemistry job opportunities it is wide as there are lot of industries which is offering you jobs bit pharma industry agriculture industry dairy industry food industry water industry environment related industry private government all these industries are offering the job if you don't want to do a job and you want to be an entrepreneur still microbiology and biochemistry both of them have equal options to set up a startup which is related to your own field like i said before also salary is lucrative initially as a fresher you might feel it's not as good but once you gain the experience of a year or two or three you will get a very lucrative salary government and private sector both these sectors they have lot of options for microbiologist as well as biochemist niche field biochemistry has always been a very niche field it has been there since ages but still it is it is the only field which is which is like the base for a lot of other fields like molecular biology and other things like i said there are a lot of countries which offer jobs for microbiologists and biochemists so not only in india but all over the world there is a vast op- option and opportunity for biochemist as well as microbiologist so like i already gave you lot of comparisons and lot of benefits of doing microbiology and biochemistry and after doing masters what all you can do and which direction to go and what is the benefit of going in that direction i also gave you some idea about the salary you should decide which job is best suited for you according to your own interest and once you decide do let us know in the comment section thank you